Hi everyone, this is SL369. Today is December 16, 2020. So a lot of crypto investors are going through a spiritual awakening. I went through that in 2018. And a lot of people in this space either have advanced spiritual gift, but there's a huge portion of people who recently expressed to me um, that they want to have better connection with a spirit guide or they want to grow the gift because they want to empower themselves rather than relying on a psychic or from uh, or on me or on whoever. They want to have a connection with their spirit guide so they can communicate with the guides um, 24 seven or so. Also on uh, the viewer on my YouTube also they exp expressed that they want to figure out how to you know connect with a spirit guide. So I told uh, my members on Discord, I said that I will share with them my knowledge and who I'm using for um, to to help me with my gift, um, who's my teachers, what books do I read my process in my daily rich, ritual, sort of. So the person in front of you right here is Caroline Whitehawk. She is a channeler. She channel a person called Sun Bear. He is a master spirit guy. And Sun Bear is my teacher. He is not only my teacher, but he is also a teacher to thousands of other people around the globe. And today I learned that one of um, the group that actually call him up for guidance is uh, politicians, um, European politicians. You can hear the rest in um, the spiritual development video part two. So I met Sunbia last summer, I believe, through a mutual friend. My mutual friends has known Sun Bear for about, by that time of like, I think six or seven years. And she has been seeing him, you know, a few times a year, I think. Sun Bear helped her with um, real estate issue. You know, she had rental house or if she's looking for a house, he always provide very good guidance, predictions in the come to pass pretty quickly. Also, he's good with general um, life predictions. So when I call him, um, I told him that I have a head pressure on my head for about six months in 2019. So after I got my gift in 2018, on a daily basis, I receive a spiritual energy download for my spirit guide. However, the energy come into my body too strong, too fast. So it's wake me up at three in the morning, four or five or six o'clock. People who are going through Kundalini have that problem, but I'm not going through Kundalini, but I still have the same problem because when the energy coming to your body too strong, it literally knock your bones to the left or to the right. It moved a couple inch. That's what happened to my neck. Um, but anyway, so when I share my um, issue with somebody, he knew exactly what I was talking about because he can saw the he can see the problem. Um, he suggested me to see my um, chiropractors and ask him to adjust the alignment of my atlas. Atlas is the base of um, our head connected to the neck. So he said that have adjusted for about two months and then the, the realignment of my bones and the spine will help the energy flow from my head to my toe. And then when energy, energy flows smoothly, then I don't have that kind of like head pressure every day. So I did that for about two months in 2019 by 
before Thanksgiving of last year, um, I didn't have to like wake up with the huge amount of like pressure. So the solution seemed simple, but it wasn't wasn't simple at all because I spent six months in 2019 spinning the wheel, seeing a lot of specialists, seeing different psychics, seeing Ricky healer, seeing intuitive healer, they did all kind of energy work, you know, just nothing work, nothing work. But uh, thankfully I came across Sunbear. So Sunbear's specialty is help people develop their, sp um, their spiritual gift organically. The process is very simple, but it's difficult to be good at it. So he taught me that process. I'm still using it to today and probably into the rest of my life. The process is so simple is this. Daily meditations, the mindfulness meditation, 15 to 20 minutes a day. Then also at night, if we go to sleep, when we go to sleep and we have, you know, dreams or anything, we write down, we record dreams and then look at patterns and see what the spirit guy, uh, what kind of message our spirit guy provides to us. So that process at first is slow, but then at the end of 2019 and the whole year of this year, um, seeing crypto prediction or vision in dreams become a daily occurrence for me, I think 90% I get the help for my spirit guy. The other 10%, I did the work. So until people actually see regular predictions, whether like cryptocurrency or um, world prediction or politics, whatever prediction that you want to see or vision that you want to see, until you get a like regular or daily prediction or at least three times a night, then you will know what I'm talking about. So when Sunbear described to me that, yeah, just go to sleep and you know record your dreams, it's not as straightforward as, as he say, but then something, the switch turned on at the end of 2019 and this year, everything become automatic when I go to sleep. I didn't have to do a lot of work. I mean, they still work, but it seemed more automatic. So the way I describe right now is in high level, but one day I think there will be people who actually will see visions and prediction daily. Then when I meet that person, then that per when I talk to that person, that person will understand what I'm talking about until um, a person doesn't go through, I have the, the same experience that as, as I do in like, you know, seeing things in dreams every day, then no matter how descriptive my information is right now you won't understand but so that's the method that's the two main thing um so that's how i grow my gift but actually <clears throat> i told sunbear that i did nine no sorry i did 10 percent of the work the other 90 percent is um the work is from my sphere guy they provide me all the information so which is uh, a great and blessed thing. Today I learned that it doesn't necessarily work or that method is like for everyone when it happens for everyone. So Sunbe is my spirit teacher. When I spoke with him, he also introduced me to two different books, which um, he will, which he introduced in video part two. The first books that he, <clears throat> talk about is the master guide to psychic development. You can get it from Amazon. Um, the book is channel. The information is all channel followed by Batar. It's a really good book. It's very detail oriented. It's um, a book that can be used as a reference book. So if you read it, the information, sometimes you read and you forget and you have to come back to it as you develop your gift. Um, I use this book as a reference guide. 
Then the other book is Master Guide to Prayer and Meditations by the same channeler, Mata. Um, again, you can get it from Amazon. This is, let me see. Yeah, they give you description of uh, different channeler in here. I'm trying to look for table content. They don't have it. So this is the tool book that I use. So the method that Sunbear provides to me, it worked for me. I'm not saying that like his method is the only one. It's one of the method that a person can use to develop the gift. There's like a ton of, of other methods. If you find it resonate with you, you can use that. I'm just sharing you my method. So a lot of people ask when I introduce a new person to the community, they want to know does Sunbay have any track record of either predicting anything or how did he help me? So the first thing is the head pressure. He took care of that right away. Then I have daily connection with my spirit guide each time that I had something that I don't understand or some question when I asked Sunbear about for qualifications, he described like what happened, why I experienced that. For example, the thing that a lot of people uh, don't realize is that when we get information from Spirit Guy, if you get information by with, you know using your third eye, then you have a clairvoyant gif, you see it. But information sometimes is come through crystal clear, sometimes it's coming through really fast, sometimes it's not clear. And when the information is not clear because our connection with the spirit guide is not as strong, we need to raise our vibration as a newbie, you don't know that. You have to read a book or talk to Sanbea or whoever your teacher is. So he helped me with a lot of like basic stuff in the beginning. Um, he described how my gift will evolve and also how my crypto prediction will evolve in 2019. Each time that I talked to him, then a few months later, is exactly what happened like he described it. It's like, keep doing your work, the information will come, which is true. And it happened all throughout 2019, including this year as well. And then he told me why I got so many crypto price predictions and the purpose and who I'm working with. <clears throat> Some of the information is personal, so I can't provide more detail. Mm, what else? And then he described that in the future, which is now in next year and so on, like what happened to my gift and what happened to my journey. So he told me that in 2019 and I'm living that life right now. Beside myself, um, two other of my friends, like there's a handful of my friends talked to Sunbear, probably eight or 10 of them. They have more detailed information, but um, some of the things that come to pass, one person, one of my friends, <clears throat> earlier this year, she wanted to sell a house and he spoke, um, sorry, she spoke with Sunbear. He said that you will sell your house six months later and this year we have COVID and she thought of, you know, be a miracle to sell a house during this kind of environment. And lo and behold, you know, the house was sold six months later. An old friend, she has, um, I think earlier I mentioned that she had real estate property or investments that she needs to figure out, you know, who to rent and is she going to get a new tenant and so on and so on. And each time that she asked him, or there's a, 
he provides uh, predictions and it comes to pass pretty much quickly and just like he has described it. Sun Bear is pretty good with loss and foul. Um, I lost two items last year. My friend lost uh, a valuable piece of jewelry. She called him up and like two or three days later, he said that, yeah, you didn't lose it. It's in your um, jacket pocket. And she thought she lost it somewhere at the, at the event that she went to, but it, wasn't, it was in her jacket pocket. I lost two important items last year. And the first item, he said that, no, you didn't lose the item. You will see it again within two, two to three days later. And um, I called the last place that I was at and crazy, but um, they found my wallet um, on the ground inside of the customer service area. Nothing was lost. All the cash, credit card, everything was in there and touch. Then the second item, I lost it and I have no idea where I put it. But he said, you didn't lose it. It's, in, um, it's inside your room. Look at it again. And I think like two, three days later, I found it. So Sunbear is pretty good at it. Oh, and then I just um, re-listened to my uh, one of his reading, September 2019. He said that he said that uh, 2020, my investment portfolio will do as well, but in 2021, will do much better. So when in 2019, we all thought that um, the year 2020, you know, uh, the market will do really well. The outcome will hit like three digits or double digits, we can retire. But here right now is December, even though the market has, you know, gone bonkers and BTC hitting 21,000 plus, but a lot of cryptocurrency outcomes is still below a dollar can you know retire yet. So when in September 2019 when I heard about it, I was like, oh my God, really? But now, you know, look at it, uh, what he said was true. His financial predictions or when people ask about like finance, his prediction is um, on one hand is conservative, on the other hand, some people think that his timeline is too far out. So if people don't get want to get bummed out, don't ask him about financial um, question because some of his information may be, the timeline will be a little far out. But um, for my investment portfolio, it's accurate. So that is um, who Senbe is. In video part two, you will hear more detail of what he will share with you guys. I hope that you will enjoy um, spiritual development video and a little bit of uh, crypto predictions. Sunbear doesn't predict the day-to-day -day crypto market movement, like pricing and things like that. He sees the big pictures, like big projects, big things. I asked some important uh, cryptocurrency questions at the end. Uh, you should really listen to it, take some note, because the thing that he described about the new cryptocurrency system, the advanced one, that thing will come to pass in a few years. Take note. And um, I believe that his prediction is pretty on point with that. I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for listening. If you have any question, leave um, your question and comment in the comment section. Thank you.